Hello everyone, how are you today? Today we are going to learn a new topic. Welcome yourselves to adverbs. Adverbs tell us more about an action. Now let's go on to types of adverbs. There are four types of adverbs. Firstly, is adverbs of time. The keywords are after, before, already, now, since, soon, and seldom. Adverbs of time is to describe when an action happens. Examples, they went home after the show. Her parents will be home soon. I have not seen her since last night. Now let's go on to adverbs of manner. The keywords are softly, quickly, angrily, etc. Adverbs of manner is to describe how an action is done. Examples The old man walked slowly. She carried the box carefully. Siva did well in the examination. Now let's continue with adverbs of place. The keywords are there, here, everywhere, and nowhere. Adverbs of place is to show where an action is done. Examples, please sit here. She has lived there for two years. They threw rubbish everywhere. Now let's continue with adverbs of frequency. The keywords are often, never, sometimes, and always. Adverbs of frequency is to show how often is an action done. Examples My niece often visit me. She never plays netball. They sometimes play football. I always read. Adverbs are compared in the same way as adjectives. Because most adverbs have two-syllable words, they generally form the comparative and superlative by adding more and most to the positive. Examples Carefully More carefully Most carefully Easily More easily most easily, greedily, more greedily, most greedily. Now let's do some exercise, shall we? Identify the adverbs. Number 1. She always ties her hair with a ribbon. Number 2. She left her bags there. Number 3. Brandon arrived after you left. Number 4. The bus will be leaving soon. Number 5. The children are playing noisily. Number 6. The lady gently lifted the baby from the cot. Number 7. I meet Austin at the library occasionally. Number 8. Ivy seldom comes to my house. Number 9. My mother was at the market yesterday. Number 10. The students listen to the teacher attentively. Well, have you identified the answers? Let's check the answers together. Identify the adverbs. Number 1. She always ties her hair with a ribbon. The adverb is always. Number 2. She left her bags there. The adverb is there. Number 3. Brandon arrived after you left. The adverb is left. Number 4. The bus will be leaving soon. The adverb is soon. Number 5. The children are playing noisily. The adverb is noisily. Number 6. The lady gently lifted the baby from the cot. The adverb is gently. 
Number 7. I meet Austin at the library occasionally. The adverb is occasionally. Number 8. Ivy seldom comes to my house. The adverb is seldom. Number 9. My mother was at the market yesterday. The adverb is yesterday. Number 10. The students listen to the teacher attentively. The adverb is attentively. Now let's try another exercise. Underline the correct adverbs of comparison. Kaza runs the fastest or faster in the team. He has always or sometimes done that. That is why he never or often misses receiving the first prize. However, Tekseng is the second fastest runner. He does not run as fast or quick as Kaza. The worst runner in the team is Montik. He runs the slower or slowest. Now let's check the answers together. Well, time to check the answers. Underline the correct adverbs of comparison. Kaza runs the fastest in the team. He has always done that. That is why he never misses receiving the first prize. However, Tek Seng is the second fastest runner. He does not run as fast as Kaza. The worst runner in the team is Mong Tik. He runs the slowest. Enjoy Irudinate Grammar! That's all for today. See you next time. Bye!